can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, x squared plus 4x squared plus 16z squared equals 48, and xy plus 4yz plus 2xz equals 24, then the goal is to find the numerical value of x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. By the way, this question comes from Moroccan Mathematical Olympiad. So let's answer this question. First, given these two equations with three unknown variables, the goal is to evaluate x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now, if you have two equations and we have three variables, the only possible thing or the only possible solutions here is to factor this out. And what is our clue for us to factor this kind of equations? So one way, since we have here x, y, product of x, y, product of y and z, and product of x times z, we will use here the concept of the perfect square trinomial. So if we expand a plus or minus b raised to the power of 2, we have a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. So as you notice, we have a product of a and b in the middle term. Now, the question is how do we factor this kind of equations. All right, first thing to notice is this 4 and 16. This is just 2 squared and 4 squared, respectively. And 2 squared y squared, we can rewrite this as 2y raised to the power of 2. And 4 squared z squared, we can rewrite this as 4 z raised to the power of 2. Now, we have now this term, the square of the first term and the square of the last term. So it can be x squared, 2y squared, whatever it is. Now, looking at the second equation, we have here the product of xy, yz, and xz. But take note, when b, or the smallest, when this b is 2y, to the middle term, the smallest coefficient must be equal to 4 because 2 times a times, let's say, 2y, we have 4ay. Technically, we can multiply the second equation by 4. So if we do that, we get something like 4xy plus 16yz plus 8xz equals 96. And take note, when we multiply the first equation by 2, we get also 96 because 48 times 2 simply equal to 96. Now, given these two results, take note, they are both equal to 96. Therefore, we can say that these two expressions are also equal. So we can equate them like this. And now at this point, we will use the concept of this perfect square trinomial. So what we're going to do is to have this format, wherein we have here 2x squared. We have here 2, 2y raised to the power of 2. Here it is. And we have 2, 4z raised to the power of 2. And here they are. Now, since it is equated to 0, what we're going to do is to subtract 4xy on both sides. So here comes negative 4xy. Next, we need to subtract 16yz on both sides. And here it is. And the last one, we need to subtract 8xz on both sides. Now from here, let's focus on this result. And take note. This first three is a perfect square trinomial, and when we factor this out, we can factor this out nicely as x minus 2y raised to the power of 2. These three terms can be factored using this concept as 2y minus 4z raised to the power of 2. And the last three terms, we can factor this out nicely as x minus 4z raised to the power of 2. Therefore, our equation simply equal to the sum of these three, then equate this to 0. And now let's focus on this result. Now also take note, a number raised to the power of 2 is always positive. So this is greater than or equal to 0. This term is also greater than or equal to 0. And the last term is also greater than or equal to 0. And take note, their sum is 0. So the only way that their sum equals to 0 is when these three expressions are equal to 0. 
Now, from here, let's focus on this result. If x minus 2y equals 0, we can say that x equals 2y. And on the second case, if 2y minus 4z equals 0, we can say that 2y equals 4z. And if x minus 4z equals 0, we can say that x equals 4z. Now, given these three results, we can say that x equals 2y equals 4z. Now, from here, we will use this path to answer this question. All right, now, since x equals 2y equals 4z, and we want x squared, y squared, and z squared, and also given these two equations, so what we're going to do is to square all of this term, and we get that x squared simply equivalent to 2y raised to the power of 2, or simply equal to 4y squared. And simply, it is equivalent to 4z raised to the power of 2, or simply equivalent to 16z squared. So using this equality, we can now solve for the value of x squared, y squared, and z squared. So let's get the first equation. Now since 4y squared is also equal to x squared, and 16z squared is also equal to x squared, we can say that we have here 3x squared equals 48. Now divide both sides by 3, we get x squared equals 16. Now we have the value for x squared. So let's set aside this result. And now since x squared is equivalent to 4y raised to the power of 2, and 16z squared is equivalent to 4y raised to the power of 2. So we can say that 3, 4y raised to the power of 2, simply equivalent to 48. So divide both sides by 12, we get that y squared equals 4. So let's set aside this result, and we will do the same thing to get z squared. So this is just 3 multiplied by 16z squared equals 48. Divide both sides by 48, we get z squared equals 1. So using these three results, we can now evaluate this expression, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And this is equivalent to 16 plus 4 plus 1, or simply equivalent to 21. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given these two equations, then the numerical value of x squared plus y squared plus z squared simply equal to 21. And as always, we are done.